Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another Disney character makeup look. So I'm continuing the series. I haven't done it in a few weeks now. I'm really uh, shocking with the consistency of these videos. Sorry about that. I just get a bit distracted on a few other things and then we circle back around. So I don't think I'll make it like as complicated as like my other ones. Although I feel like the Lion King one wasn't too bad. But I do know that like a few of the other ones are a bit more like a uh, more intense look. So I think I might make this one a little bit more softer. I mean Snow White is a very soft personality. And I mean I say I'm going to make it soft. We'll see if I actually follow through on that. I get a bit carried away. But yeah so we'll see how we go. I'm going to do the one eye filming again because you guys really liked that last time. And then yeah I need to think about what I'm actually going to come up with as well. So I'll be right back and see what inspiration hits me. So what do we think? This is this kind of the eye that I've come up with at the moment? So let's get to creating it, shall we? So the first thing I went in with is my Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I use this as an eye base to really help the colours stand out against the eyelid. And I'm just going in with my finger to blend it out. I just find it a lot easier. It keeps more of the pigment on the eye. And I am bringing it into the inner corner because I want that to really pop as well. Next I'm going to take this gorgeous like light blue shade from the Chi Chi Pride palette. And on a 221 soft crease brush from Zoeva I'm just going to apply this through my crease. I want the most pigment on the outer corner like usual and I'm just blending whatever's left through the crease. I'm blending it up pretty high but not all the way to the brow bone because this is our transition shade. Next on a pencil brush I'm going to take this deeper blue shade from my Chi Chi palette again. And I'm just applying this to my outer corner first, just packing it on. And then dragging whatever's left on the brush through the crease. And then I grab a smidge bit of that blue on a petite crease brush and I just buff it out so it's not so harsh. Just blends softly into that lighter blue shade. So once we've got our nice blend through the crease, I'm going to grab this beautiful like foiled blue shadow from um, Morphe in the shade Sapphire. It's a deep royal blue shade. I'm going to pack this on with my finger on my outer corner. Then I'm going to take this beautiful, beautiful blue from the Jack and Hill Morphe palette and again on my finger I'm going to pack this on right next to Sapphire. I just think they create such a beautiful transition. They're just so pretty together. It goes from the deep blue here into that lighter royal blue and then I'll transition into the yellows but it just, mm, it's just so pretty. So next to cut my crease I'm going to go in with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC and a eye concealer brush. I'm just going to carve out about the inner third of my crease, the inner two thirds. And I always go with my finger to diffuse the edge of that cut crease so there's no harsh line and it just blends nicely into another. Next for my inner third of the eye I'm going to take the shades um, beam from the Jack on Hill palette and this beautiful light yellow shade from the Chi Chi palette. I'm going to mix those two together and just start filling in the inner, like I said, the inner third of the eye with a Morphe M326 brush. Next on my finger I'm going to take that beautiful like yellowy gold shade right next to that light yellow shade we used. And I'm going to pack that on in between the blue and the yellow. And I'm mashing it more into the yellow side than the blue side because we'll apply a darker gold in a second and that will help like the gold blend into the deeper blue if that makes sense. So the deeper gold we're going to take is Queen from the Jack and Hill palette and like I said I'm going to put that between the yellowy gold and the blue. And then going in with my finger again and some of that royal blue shade from the Jack and Hill palette. I'm just packing it on next to the gold. So lastly for the eyeshadows on the top, I'm going to do a brow bone and inner corner highlight. So I'm going to take Ice Queen from Makeup Geek and apply that to my brow bone and inner corner. Okie dokie for the liner today, I'm going to take my Unshakeable Liquid Liner from 
Mia Dora and just do a small wing. And for the little bow on top of the liner, we're going to take a liquid lipstick. This is the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Succulent. And to be honest, all I really do is just draw on three little blobs above the eyeliner. And I use an eye brush. This is the Pixel Pointed Eyeliner Brush from Real Techniques. Just like that. And I'm going to layer it again, so I'll let this layer dry. And then I'll go in with another layer on top to really make it pigmented. And while I wait for that liquid lipstick to dry, I go in with a black coal liner. This one is from Makeup Geek in the shade Obsidian. And I just apply that to my tight line. I didn't mention before, but this liquid liner won't be eye safe, so continue at your own risk. And while I wait for this layer to dry, I'm going to go in with the nude eye coal from Models Prefer on my bottom waterline. Then next, what I'm going to do is outline that bow with the black liquid liner again. But and I'll, I'm, I'm not sure how I'll go on camera doing this. I'll see. Hopefully, I'll catch it on footage, guys. But I'm going to be real up close to my mirror. So sorry about that. That'll do, don't care. That'll do. I feel like I'm happy with that. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's close enough, and that is good enough for me. For mascara and lashes, I'm going to take my Maybelline Colossal Mascara and do a nice thick coat of that along my top lashes. And the lashes I'm going in with today, the falsies, are from Attitude in the style Feisty. Okay, for the bottom lash line, I'm going to keep it really, really simple. I don't want anything too crazy going on down there because the top lid area is like where the main focus is. So I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and on a precise shader brush from Zoeva, I'm going to take the shade Mocha and really wiggle that closely against the bottom outer corner of my eye. And then on a pencil brush, I'm going to take the shade Butter from the Jaclyn Hill palette and buff out the mocha shade. And then just taking some of Beam, just placing that on the inner third of my bottom waterline or lash line area. And then finishing off with some mascara on my bottom lashes. For lipstick today, I'm actually going to take what we use on our eyes and put it on our lips as well. So I'm just going to go in with the shade Succulent from Colourpop. Probably should lip line your lips. I don't have one with me at this point in time, so I'm just going to literally go straight on with this lip lipstick and here we have it this is the finished makeup look for snow white i hope you guys enjoyed today's look i am so happy with how the eyes turned out and i'm loving the bold red lips because snow white has like a bold red lip too i do think the aerial lip though i think that's more classic like snow white you know with the one i put in my aerial tutorial but i was like i'm not going to do the same red lip twice i just thought having a bright red just meshing with that like bow on the eyes it will tie in well with the lips as as well so yeah that's kind of like my thought pattern but i do think you could do like a deeper red like i did in my aerial one that lip combo i think would be really pretty as well anywho i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you leave down below what character you would like to see next and also any requests for upcoming videos that you'd like to see as well always have an amazing day guys make sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.